Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I hope you're having a blessed day. My name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you have been watching and can, uh, following along with this Master Octa course. Um, in this video, what I want to talk to you about is delegated authentication. So I really wanted to have a uh, video just really uh, focus on delegated authentication because it is a major topic. So uh, in the agenda, we're going to be talking about delegated authentication and then also testing out our out 80 sign in. So where can you find delegated authentication within your Okta profile? So in Okta, as we are in right now, you want to go down to uh, director integration. We're going to go back to provisioning. And then over in provisioning down here is where you can see all the OUs that we have synced up down here is delegated authentication. So what that does is enable delegated authentication to active directory, enable delegated authentication. If you want active directory to authenticate your users, when they sign into Okta, a user's Okta credentials are the same as their active directory credentials when delegated authentication is on. So essentially they are using your user will be using the 80 passwords in order to authenticate to Okta. So let's get a little bit more into delegated authentication. So right here in the Okta docs, you see delegated authentication with Active Directory. So this says when Okta is integrated with an Active Directory instance, delegated authentication is enabled by default. With delegated authentication, this is what happens when the user signs into Okta. So it literally talks to you about how they authenticate and how secure the transmission is from Okta to AD back to Okta. So let's walk through it. User enters their username and password in the Okta sign-in page. The sign-in page is projected with a security image to prevent phishing. Multi-factor authentication, an extra security question, or smartphones, or whatever other multi-factor authentication option you have there, will be may also be enabled. The username and password are transmitted, transmitted over the SSL connection implemented during setup to an Active Directory, Okta Active Directory agent running behind a firewall. Then we have the Okta agent passes the user credentials to the AD domain controller for authentication. The AD domain controller validates the username and password and uses the AD agent to return a response to Okta. A yes response confirms the user's identity the user is then authenticated and sent to their Okta homepage. So real quick, this is important. Delegated authentication maintains persistence for your directory and authenticated uh, session and AD is maintained as the immediate and ultimate source for credential validation. So AD is the source of truth. Now, let's say we wanted to have Okta be the one that would take on that responsibility. Uh, if you have delegated authentication, you will have to make sure that you take off delegated authentication to enable this. So if you see here, sync password creates a active directory password for each assigned user and pushes it to active directory. So this is going to sync it. If I enable this, I will get an error message, right? And I click save. Look, it says, please review the form to correct the following error. Delegated authentication and password push cannot be enabled, both be enabled. So what you have to do is this delegated authentication will have to be off in order for me to do that. So I'm going to cancel this because I want AD to be what users use uh, for their passwords and not Okta. So in the last part of the agenda, we do have a way we can test delegated authentication. So what I can do is I can grab one of my users. I'll use Brian Doe. This is on-premise. This is one of our Active Directory users. And what I'll do is I'll use this user and I'll put in my password and I'll authenticate. and Active Directory authentication is successful. That lets me know our delegated authentication is working. So this is a quick and simple way for you to test delegated authentication. So that is a wrap for this video. I wanna thank you for watching um, the video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, please, as always, leave in the comment section and use the comment section to collaborate and talk with each other. There may be something that I didn't cover or something that you're having problems with. And you know, it does take, I'm the one, only one running this page. So it does take me some time uh, sometimes to respond to people's questions or comments. Um, I think I'm averaging probably around 12 hour 
uh, response time, if anything, but um, sometimes it does take me a little bit to respond. So I would hope that if somebody does see a question there in the comments that you can respond to it and help each other out because at the end of the day, I definitely want to be here to uh, build a community so that this way we all can learn from each other. So thank you again for watching. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, here at Cloud Scholar is my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you. See you next time.